Uh, hello, my name is Corinna. <laughs> and um, yeah, today um, I will just give a very quick um, insight into the materials we produced um, in our projects, uh, oyster restoration projects in Germany. Um, our materials focus on high schools, um, so older age classes than Celine just um, presented. Um, and whoever is interested in how we started with the de development and the designing and also how to fit it into the German curriculum, um, feel free to watch the video on the Nora Europe uh, homepage. It's uh, actually one year ago. That's how I know that the first meeting was one year ago when I saw that. So there you find the summary and also the, the link to the video. So um, there I try to, to yeah, explain how we how we managed to fit it into the curriculum and now we're one year from that and we yeah designed some materials and the topics we focused on is yeah ecosystem goods and services food webs i think that's kind of the same as yeah in every project that's just really good uh, fitting to the ecosystem oyster reef but also tolerances which is a big um, yeah, a big point in those age classes because they are preparing for the German Abitur, so that's the senior classes and they need to know this, so we try to include as much as possible so that the teachers can actually use them without having to yeah, spend extra time um, because then they wouldn't use it, so it has to fit into their curriculum, they are always very uh, their time is very restricted and so we try to give them a little bit that they say that's new, we take this, and except of the old one. <laughs> um, yeah, of course, the definition of the technical terms uh, of ecology, uh, but also invasive species. Um, in Germany, in one sea, we have the Pacific oyster a lot. So whenever you go somewhere, especially to schools or to also when you talk to tourists, they, and you say oyster, so the first word would be Pacific oyster or invasive. So that's a big thing uh, also in the media. So we kind of use this to get their attention and to show the differences between the two species and also to explain, for example, eco ecological niches to see, okay, the one oyster is there, the other is there. Um, but that's also, of course, more in that, uh, in that detail, more for older students. Um, so the materials we came up with, we had a great cooperation um, with uh, students uh, from a high school. They did their project with us and they uh, did a great job uh, designing a 70 page ecology unit. So <laughs> they were really motivated and it was more uh, the a general introduction to an ecology with the normal examples and then they always try to um, find a way to bring it back to the oyster. So after every topic, they will give an example of, of the oyster reef or show how it's connected to the oyster reef. Um, and that's really cool. Uh, but they also have working sheets um, only about information on oyster, about restoration projects in Germany. And fortunately, we don't have this luxury of having the site nearby. So um, yeah, we have to find other ways to attract uh, their interest <laughs> and so we tried videos and um, dissecting oysters together and have giving protocols for that. Um, so this is just an example how how this is done. I also chose the food web uh, because I really think that's a good way of yeah um, giving a, one material that's valid for a lot of European countries for example so that a lot of people from Nora could use it within their projects. Um, so this is in German, of course, <laughs> but um, so they give that's a general um, introduction into the, the food web and the different uh, trophic um, stations and trophic. Um, yeah, that's uh, really hard to read German and talk English. So <laughs> sorry for my English right now. But then you go to the um, to the profiles of different um, Nazi species, and then the students, with their knowledge they gained from those two working pages, they can then uh, build a food web around the European oyster and the oyster reef. So that's already quite. Um, they need to have. Yeah, they need to be older. They need to have experience with them. <laughs> Sorry, did you say something? <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, yeah. So maybe you can do that for younger uh, children or younger students with very, very, very small amount of species and then introduce the food web like that. That's just an idea. And this, uh, this, this many species, it's really, 
it's already hard for for students 15 16 years old so um yeah this is uh, high school material. And then we have also we used a different method, but on the same topics, more or less. Uh, this is called group puzzle. I don't know if you know it. A lot of teachers know it. It's a, um, a very general method at the moment. Um, I also know it from Bernadette because she's a teacher as well. She likes the method uh, a lot. Um, so you basically have different groups. Every group gets uh, in, in a background uh, text about one topic the topics are linked to each other but not very obviously so at the beginning they wouldn't know how they connect to each other and um, then they read through it they do research and get really become experts in their topic then they sit together in, in groups with other students of their topic and talk about it and at the end they teach their topic to the other students um, in the other groups and at the end they find the links and the missing pieces which were kind of planned to be in the in the respective other texts so that's um, that's the idea behind just an, just another method of, of bringing the same knowledge to them and then um, this is also just really quick uh, excursion to our knowledge platform I don't know man, maybe some of you have already seen it it launched uh, December last year and we there um, yeah show have a lot of knowledge on there so it would take hours to go through it completely but just in general we do have a student area so we have student and the visitor area and the student area is specially designed to um, yeah, be used by students for research or maybe during Corona times for e-learning or at home learning. Um, and I'm, I think the, the easiest way is just to <laughs> show it to you real quickly. So I will just change to my other screen. And um, we do have it in English, <laughs> so I, this time I can switch to English. This is good for me. Um, so yeah, this is just the home screen, and then you you go for for the student version. And then you have this table with different things on it, and the different things are representing different topics of oyster biology, oyster restoration, oyster history. And in the um, student version, for example, when you click on the biology one, then there comes the information about the European flat oyster. And there you have a little video showing the filtration. And um, if you uh, scroll over those um, blue or green words, you have the definition of it, of the technical term. So you don't have to switch to Wikipedia all the time. You can just stay on our site. Side. Um, and, and this is more or less the same as in the, um, in the normal visitor version. Okay, my computer is very slow now. <laughs> can you hope you can still hear me? Okay. And but then if you go, for example, to this this topic here, we have biodiversity, a little bit of history, and then on the bottom we have this ecological know-how we named it and this is especially for students also of course of higher age groups so also high school students and they um they can now look at the different technical terms and um see yeah learn from it i hope you still hear me i think my computer is very busy <laughs> okay and uh for some topics we found youtube videos um yeah, explaining the same thing for people who don't want to read that much, but rather watch a video. So this can be used for, for students or for teachers. And then we have a download section um, where all of our materials are. And this I just wanted to show, um, show you. So the English one is not very, there's not a lot on it, but in the German one, we have more. Um, but this I just wanted to show you in case you do have uh, material and you think you want to, I don't know, you want to spread it more, we can always uh, upload them here. And, and so anyone who is from Germany, from, from Germany and somehow interested in restoration <laughs> can, um, can look at this page and um, download it. So yeah, we do have a working sheet, for example, just covering the homepage. 
So if a teacher says he has he or she has two hours of spare time and he wants to transfer the ecological knowledge um, they already have, he can just he or she can just download the, the working sheet and then say, have fun on the homepage, see you in two hours, and then uh, I'll get the working sheet back and then I know what you did. So that's the idea behind. So I will stop sharing this because I think otherwise it will crash. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's basically a very short introduction into what we did last year. And um, yeah, and just as an idea for, for other age classes than the one uh, Celine already mentioned. Yeah. <clears throat> 